Hey guys, how are you? Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, good, good. Right. So you just got if she comes back, you got to. No like that. Okay. I just had Rebecca Romain stand there for an hour. How you guys doing? Good. How's your convention going? It's good, man. I always love these things. I just got done with one in Fort Lauderdale last weekend, and I go to Tulsa in two weeks, and so I just, it's, it's great. I get to, that's what I'm saying, with, with, with conventions like this and conventions, other conventions I do, it really is not about, everybody gets to see their, their quote-unquote superheroes on the screen and, you know, and, and certain like that, but what they don't understand is that this is our chance to give people a hug high five and say thank you for making us exist you know and so it's it's really love going both ways and that's why i love them so much because i get to shake hands and tell her my things panels are the best for that i love the room yeah the, there's a warm there is to it and an excitement that everybody shares you come from wherever yeah and you're just a family and you're that's loving it. this thing together that is right? it man would that's what it is exactly what it is huh would you ever like dress up as a somebody character? was dressed up as jake stone oh really she had she had the axe and everything it was this girl that had like yeah and she had the the strap with the maps hanging out and the and the axe. Is this it was here pretty cool. Or That's or such an honor to come to these things and see your character. You know, it's just, yeah. Was that here or another? Problem? That was here. That was just I just saw her in the um, in the in the uh, in, on the panel, and then somebody got Jake Stone. To, I'm, I'm like running with an axe and like jumping. They got tattooed all down their leg, and they sent it to me on it. It's just amazing, man. You know, I just just somebody asked me the other day. They said you come to these conventions a lot, and I've, and I've always done it. I've been from Angel on. You know, I've done them for 15 years. And I never realized that, you know, I played three characters. A lot of people play one character and they're allowed to come here, you know. I played three characters that actually fit into this genre. I fit into, you know, when I was Angel on Lin uh, Lindsay on Angel, when I was um, Elliot on Leverage, you know, which wasn't really a, uh, this type of show, but they, they accepted us anyway. And now, of course, The Librarians is exactly, you know, convention material. So I'm very fortunate, man. This is the world I live in, and, uh, and, and it's, it's not a lot of people can, can get to experience stuff like this. Everybody I know who's an actor wants to come to these, for, but they want to be here for a reason. It's kind of like going to the Academy Awards. Like, there's all these after parties, and like, you want to go. I'm like, I'm not going because I, I'm not going until I'm supposed to be there. You know, they feel the same way with these things, and they don't get to experience all this. It's amazing. So, can you tell us a little bit where, about where Jake is going in season? Two? I can. You know, uh, episode 2003, uh, 203 is right after the two-hour premiere, so it's the following week. And we go back home, and you see everything that there is to know about Jake Stone. So his whole character is Andrew, and it's a really, really big trial and tribulation. It's, uh, it's you know, it's walking through hell, and um, and and, it, and all my cards are laid out on the table, which is fun for me because now you get to see my character transform into what we saw at the end of the last season, for the, where we went, where we were the librarians for ten years, and I was kind of like. You know Indiana Jones or Drake from Uncharted, you know, and all that stuff. And uh, you know that's going to be the end character for me. We already know. Everybody knows where we're going. And so now I get to you see him kind of change. His, his brow furrows a little bit. You know, it's like it's like you start to see like he's he's not that little bright little shiny bunny that walked in. Go, oh, I can't magic and oh my god, I can't believe I'm here. He's starting to get that thing where Flynn transformed from the first librarians to a superhero now. You know, that's 10 years of him. He's seen everything. He's fought everything. We're starting to see that come along with all the characters and especially Jake. Yeah, so that's it's fun to start walking that way. You know, yeah. John Wayne is. So what's your favorite moment from the first season? Favorite moment from the first season. I really like the... Um, well, I really loved the last episode where I got to where I was the librarian for ten years because it showed, it's like I said, it showed where my character was going and it got to. But uh, I like the fairy tale episode. We had all we had all left. Jonathan Frakes uh, or Noah Noah left, so it was just us now. It was the team, and Jonathan Frakes came in to direct, which uh, which we all know and love very well, and uh, and it was just so much fun because now we're getting to add comedy. It was Noah was not at the helm anymore. We were taking the reins. And it was so much fun to be able to play off the other actors. And we all, because we were thrown into it so fast, um, we got to know, we, that's when we started learning about each other and became a family as, as actors, not, not on the show, but as actors. And so that's one of my favorite episodes. And it was just the whole thing, where I'm looking down and the owl shows up. That was my favorite day. I got to literally hold an owl, and not a lot of people could say that, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. You talked about you were seeing, like 10 years from the road, you could see where your character is going to be, he's yep. going to be the guy, he's going to be, you know, you know uh, where would you personally see your character develop? I, I tell you, man, I'm really happy with what we saw, because, you know, you know, I'm an action junkie, I love that, I've done it for so long, so to see him have, you know, precision and fighting again, you know, it's sort of like Elliot, 
to see him have precision in fighting and uh, and not be stupid about stuff. He's figuring stuff out. And the one thing I wanted to do was, is I was supposed to just like do do this like you know talk and stuff. And he said, no, I want to run around these trees as you know like 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 Noah Wiley would yeah. because that's what Noah would do this day and age, and he would know exactly what he was talking about. So I kind of took a lot from Noah's character as well. So I think if my character got to exactly that guy, I would be I would be very happy. I mean, I created the whole outfit. Uh, there was a picture online of Drake from Uncharted and me, and it was I was wearing the same thing. I actually copied it to a T. I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for that. I'm a naughty dog, but um, but uh, it was it was fun. That's that's where I want to be. You know, we all kind of know the end game for our for ourselves. To talking to John Rogers, John Rogers knows exactly how this show is gonna end, and um, and I think that you know at the end of this, you know, I think Lindy will be very magical. I think John Kim is gonna be you know that's an unbelievable spy, and I'm sp I'm gonna be Indiana Jones. It's just how it is, you know. And so, having a, having someone like Harrison Ford to look up to as Indiana Jones, it's not a bad place to, not a bad place to shoot. Yeah. yeah. Have you missed the physicality though of going from Elliot? To I do. I miss it a lot, to be honest with you. You know, it, it was always. Um, of course, I got split open a lot. I was in the hospital twice a year, but, um, but. Uh, you know, and it was it was bone on bone and all that stuff. But what people don't realize was, it's like if you love some, if you love dancing, it's basically a dance. You know, we're not hitting people in the face. It's a dance. You got to move with the other person. And um, and I miss the dance. You know, I miss it a lot. But there's I fight a lot in this year. So I have to think that season three, God willing, if we picked up, uh, he'll be fighting even more. So I fight probably three times as much this year as I did last year. And hopefully that'll be a trend. And hopefully that's where my character's going, which is where which is where I want to be. Thank you so much. I hope you got everything. Yeah, thank you. I saw you reaching out there.